No more running away. Here I come. And guard. I totally need you on fight. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn how to fix danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Not bad. How about this? Totally need you don't want to fight. But nothing happened. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. I need flashes of medicine smile. I don't want to fight you. You're actually really awesome. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Flips his fear impatiently. No, I'm not gonna fight you. We're gonna be friends. Don't be such away from us. So, Wendy, you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Enough warming up. Wendy holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Go and you didn't want to fight. You're tough. Funding Super is a huge boy just because she can. Okay. You told Undine you just want to be friends, so she remembers someone. Text become the text became a little less extreme. No human has ever made past Asgore. I need two places to use Boulder. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. Alright, let's have a nice cream. Stop being so... Stop being so damn resilient! Dead by now. Maybe. But we're on the journey of friendship. And there's only one way to do friendship. And that's to just not fight. Alphys told me humans were determined. Determined too. Determined to end this right now. Right now. No. We're not gonna fight. Friendship. Right. <sighs> and he draws her finger across her neck. You totally just want to be friends. Yeah, die already, you little brat! My invisibility frames last for so long. I love that. 
You're getting in my way. Ending smashing spears on the ground. No. Friendship. I will not be defeated. Nobody's fighting you. This time, let's try something interesting. Okay. Or bring we won't escape. So, let's try something a little bit different. So what she says there is very important, I just realized. So let's wait until we're not green, and then let's try to be big, huge cowards. Because that's how you get to be a pacifist, by being the biggest coward. So... This music reminds me of Toho. It's a trumpet. I... Hmm. These are some Toho trumpets, I swear. And now a red. See ya. Oh. You won't get away from me this time. Oh, see, I'm doing you a favor. No human has ever made it past the door. Killing you now is an act of mercy! Stop being so damn resilient! this right now. Right now. Right now. Yeah, you're not doing a good job of that, Undine. You little brat. See ya. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undy should all hang out sometime. I think we would make great pals. Let me know about our house later. Stop running away. That was a really bad time for that call. Frickin' Paparus. Oh, 
See ya. I've got better to do. Come back here, you little punk. Don't slow me down. Okay. Come on. Armor so hot. But I can't give up. Here, have some water. See? Friends. Yeah, I gave you water. Uh... That's some ominous music. So, let's go see if we can find Undine again. Um... Because... Avaris called and said we should all hang out at her house, and since she probably went back home... Why not, you know? Uh, box presumably to be pushed. Um, I don't remember you. Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. <laughs> Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but laces and moving rocks. Bah! There's no art in the action, you mindless schlock. It's just time drug, time based drivel. Here's something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You, you're young, you still got hope. Try solving this block pushing puzzle. What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Bah, forget it. Ah. Okay. Never mind. Alright. I mean, nowadays, in most games, puzzles aren't exactly the greatest. But, you know, they're still fun. I mean, I hate block puzzles with a furious passion because it's just so annoying and boring but you know it's, it has a place I guess I'll see you guys back at Undine's house all right guys we are back here's Pavarus the human arrives ready to hang out with Undine I have a plan to make you two great friends okay stand behind me Make sure to give her this. She loves these. It's a bone? That is a cool door. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. I brought a friend. <laughs> extra. Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Is that a sword? Here, Undine. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun! At risk. <laughs> That's the greatest. Why are you here? Throw your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yeah. Really? How delightful! I'd accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! How'd I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undine could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the sh- Oh, you sly dog. You sly little dog. Challenge my papyrus. Wait a sec. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. 
Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Oh my. Perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Did I compress? So nice to have you over. Why don't I take a seat at the table? One time Alvis' uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. You wanna see my room? Too bad, no nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. You like peppers, don't you? In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. <laughs> Summon is some top of the line M M M T T thing, but you know, of course, as technology advances, the food home cooked with food home cooked with fire magic. It's forks and uh, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. I hate cold food, so I'll just fix up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Humans stuck with the history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know it. When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. Took myself and built a giant sword together. Figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Get down at the freaking table, you little nerd. She's so nice. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Sugar, ghost, tea, the yellow liquid, hot chocolate, green cylinder. E box. Blatantly correct choice. Huh? Coming right up. This is such a okay. Friendship. I'll take a hold of the water boil. Let's make some delightful conversation, you and me. <laughs> that was a slide whistle. Okay, it's all done, and then we have some tea. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's trying so hard. It's not that hot, just drink it already. Take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. Pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, Asgore is the golden flower. No. You kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. And from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, kept training me, and now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight! Like, uh, Papyrus. Wow. More depth to the character than I thought, but, um, to be honest, I don't know if I never let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. It's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's it's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, we're supposed to capture you. We ended up being friends with you instead. 
You could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. It's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Weird how this whole encounter has turned out. Wait a second. Zapros is cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! That's right. Nothing has brought Pepperos and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll be getting closer than you could ever imagine. Whoa, afraid we're gonna be best friends. <laughs> oh man, this is the greatest. Let's start with the sauce, spaghetti sauce. Which of these vegetables is your greatest enemy? Now, pound the dust with your fists. Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these unhealthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Uh, we'll just scrap the strip to do a bowl later. But for now, this is the most intense, tight cooking lesson I've ever gone through. We had the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. We're making spaghetti, aren't we? I just realized we're making spaghetti. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, just put them in the pot. You place the noodles in one at a time. You clink against the empty bottom. Nice. All right. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As you know, rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. All right. Or harder. Harder! I'm strong as hard as I can! Uh, let me do it. Uh, it's a little bit too much. Oh, that's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. The stove cup. Symbolize your passion. I just... See, this is how you... Oops. This is fine. Oh, man. No wonder Pepper sucks at cooking. This is fine. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. People just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. If we can't be friends, that's okay. Because we're not friends. It means I could destroy you without regret! I've been decided. My house. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One power rematch. All out on both sides. It's only creating a lot of surprise. Come on, hit me with all you've got. Tend to swing it and use all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Okay. You know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. First, I hated your stupid saturated stick. Your saccharine, I don't know but. What you hit me right now? It reminded me of someone I used to train with. I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. So Asgore? Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight, but you knowing him, probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you him to let you go home. Eventually. Some mean human will fall down here. I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? 
<laughs> oh, if you do hurt Asgard, I'll take the human souls. Cross the barrier. And beat the hell out of you! That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh, it's look, the house looks so sad! That was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. If you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. That's the saddest house. Sounds like only fire lives here now. What? 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 It's living. All right. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> By the way, if you go down here, it's the Grim Reaper. I'm the River Man. Or am I the River Woman? It doesn't really matter. Let's throw my butt. Would you care to join me? Let's go to Snowden, and we're off. So this is the fast travel system that we have just discovered, I guess. Let's go say hi to uh, Undine again, and then we'll head over to the Hotlands. Tra la la, the water is very dry today. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh, so this is where this location left off. Alright, thanks. I'm again sometime. Tra la la. So now we have quick travel to go back here whenever we want. Hey, punk, what's up? Gotcha. Right, we're second, you stand this cold. I have no skin. So why don't we stand in grill bees instead? Because I hate grease. Why don't you- you don't have a stomach! No, but I have standards! So... So glad you and Undine are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. Alright. So I can call. Noted. I'm with Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? Okay, cool. Let's go make more friends. The hotland. It's a dog. It's running. Rip tra la. Temi Village. Room before the darkening lantern room. Alright. We get some time. So this is Hotland. Things a strange laboratory in a place like this. You're filled with termination. There's a laboratory here. It's... Sorry, Undine, like, told us there was totally a human in the area, so, like, us royal guards are blocking up the elevators for now. Yeah. Maybe the elevators aren't working anyway. We'll do our best, Miss Undine. What? Royal guards are blocking the way. And I'll tell them to... Well, nothing, I guess. I already told them to seek you out and destroy you. I can't just tell them I changed my mind. The office showed me these animations about uh, humans. And one of them is about this human that, well, supposed to say they can control people's minds. For us, I know your kind's hidden power. Anyway, I told my crew that if I ever defended the human, I must be under some kind of mind control. Discard everything that I tell them. So, sorry, but my hands are tied. By the way, that animation is really good. Alright. Let's head over here. Uh. Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. And... Sand still isn't there, but he was there earlier. Currently, Temi Village is right before the Lantern Darkening Room, and you can sell things there. But... I don't think I want to go there yet. This is a nice little... It's you? Mm -hmm. Too dark to see near the walls. Sounds like purring. Uh, hello?
Oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um... Uh, hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. B but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything! I was really going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. We have a fangirl. We have a fangirl! That's not a Temmie. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can guide you through Hotland. I know, way right to Escort's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, it's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Megatron. <laughs> Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. She's so adorable. Anyway, recently decided to make it more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like um, anti anti human combat features. Uh, um, of course, when I saw it coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> uh, oh, this is just going swimmingly, isn't it? This music makes you think of Paper Mario a thousand years more. But, um, hopefully we won't run into him. He's gonna show up right now, isn't he? Hmm. Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes! Welcome beauties! To today's quiz show! Yes! Quiz bosses! Oh boy, Gary, it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! Ever played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple! There's only one rule! Answer correctly! Or you die! Metron attack. Doing is against the rules. Start with an easy one. What's the price for answering correctly? Uh. Ah, uh, you wish. Wrong. Alright. Here's your terrific prize. What's King's full name? As Gore Dreamer. Alright. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Too easy for you, huh? Push up continues. Let me just cry. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains train ABS. Oh, this is two. I guess. Don't count on your victory. I love it. Here's a simple one. Time to break out the big guns. 
Oh, oh, I know this one! It's snail ice cream! In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach, and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but snail flavor to the only one who wants it. Mew Mew Kissy Kitty. That was a very good game. About friendship and... Alphas, Alphas, Alphas. You aren't helping our contestants, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Undead sea elves, I told you it was obvious. They're always hanging out together. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrolls her name in the margins of her notes. She knows programming variables after her. Oh. Fan fiction, too. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. The doctor Alpha's is helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. You can't go on like this, but... But, this was just a pilot episode, except more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. What the heck? Well, that was certainly something. Bag of dog food, it's half full. She wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe if you need help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Alright, we got a new phone. Yeah, this underground's number one social network. No, with your friends. <laughs> She's. I feel like she's just a neat. Kind of like that ghost. I'm going to the bathroom. She's so un adorably uncomfortable and awkward. Thanks, it is. The beat up figurine of a human of a female human with cat ears. Actually this is some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like the notes are something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... This is a... I can't go down there. This reminds me of, like, Super Hit Mario, where you're... Uh, Elfie is having just behind the door. Bathroom sign. Did you go out here? Yeah, it's like different books. They seem very dusty. Human history. You look inside a book. Come from a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. It's manga. Very, they're all labeled. Look inside a book. It's a comic book. Who's can't like bad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at you. <laughs> this doesn't strike you as very accurate. A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Oh my gosh. The, the chainsaw, the anime. Dirty leopard, a single clean dress. Nice for monsters here. Frog at Snowy Doggo. They're all unopened. Lamp with a pink fish on lamp trade. There's no light bulb. An indescribable advantage. Not in use. This bed folds is extremely easy to draw a box. It's a promo poster for Metro Metatron's TV premiere on a flap that says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. I swear, every single part I go to in this game, there's just so much... friendship and... Office oh, updated stats. Just realized I didn't watch Undine fight the human. Office updated stats. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Okay, what's over here? Vulcan scrolls. Okay. Doing a great job. It's sex with uh, Okay. Is that supposed to be like lava? The 
I want to just real quick check something. I'll be back, guys. Alright, so we're back, and what I want to just check was that space on the wall where uh, Redditon came to see if we could actually go back there. No, we can't. I'm gonna call them in a minute. What if I call you first? Dimensional box A? Oh! Oh! Dimensional box B. Alright, so we gotta go. Sundar A play. Sundar playing. <laughs> Not on purpose or anything. You tell Sundar playing that it has cute wing legs. Huh? E, e sicko! Superplane accidentally bumps you in its wing. You tell Superplane that you like its taste in movies and books. Oh, you sicko! noodles into the pot. Four minutes left until the noodles are finished. Wait, minutes left. This is just happening in the middle of a battle where I'm just making instant noodles. And like, that soon to plain frickin' it's even got blushing. It's... The noodles are finished. They don't taste very good. Get the flavor packet. That's better. Not great, but better. It's not gonna like you or anything. Okay. Eh? Yeah, human? This is the weirdest encounter I've ever... Oh my gosh, it's blush! He won. Uh, okay. I just... Sunderblade. Yeah. <laughs> 